One, two, three, four! This is Isolation TV and this is Rant. Community television is in trouble. Again. Because the government doesn't give a shit about it. Again. June 30th, community TV's off the air. It's off TV and it's online only. Why? Not 100% sure, as the only real information about any of this comes from an Abbott government press release when Malcolm Turnbull was communications minister. That was back in 1890-2014. But, you know, ScoMo, Abbott, Turnbull, they're all still pretty tight. Yeah, so same diff, probably. So what it say? Uh, a few things. First, they think the best outcome for community television is to live online. After all, it's a way of the future. And the best thing about being online is that it offers wider audiences at less cost on a wider range of devices with broader revenue opportunities. Whoa, that's four for four. It's a perfect storm. That's winning. Can you imagine how well this will go for community TV stations? Actually, you don't have to, because the community TV stations from Brisbane, Sydney and Perth all went under trying to implement that very system far too early. But it's still a good system. <laughs> Way of the future. And it's not like the government is enforcing all the other channels to go online only as well. You know, the commercial networks, ABC, SBS, June 30, they all have to do it too. I'm lying, only community TV has to do it, no one else. Everyone else can wait until a less winning time, apparently. But it's still a good system, way of the future. Just not the present. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, they said they need the digital space to test some new technologies. Uh, well, they've done that, even with Channel 31 Melbourne and Channel 44 Adelaide still operating. And what they actually found with this testing is that they can fit more video streams into each individual network space. This only happened in the past few years. Uh, that's why all of a sudden there's now nine life, nine rush, nine jizz, nine chan, nine anything but local content. This technology we've got right now. Commercial networks are using it right now. Community TV isn't allowed to use it, but this is technology that allows for more channels using less space. So when that press release claims that digital space is scarce and valuable, the government's own testing has now proven that space has become less scarce and as a result, less valuable. So well done to all the government economists there. Uh, another reason, low viewership. Mm, because nobody watches community TV, their capacity to serve a wide range of different community interest groups is limited. Of course, just ask the producers of Meraki TV, Afro Pop, Light and Life, Entre Todos, Nota Dominante, Macedonian Horizons, Russian Influence, Australia Korean TV, Tamaloli. This isn't even a full list. It's like one day of programming. Harmony and Diversity. There's an actual show called Harmony in Diversity. Fucking top that shit, SBS. There's Class TV, Bent TV, Yappy Hour TV, Wrestler Girl, The Citizen Report, Mr. Sink Show, Move It or Lose It, When Paintings Come Alive, The Flying Show. There's a fucking show exclusively about tribute bands. Meanwhile, it's the 17th season of Dancing with the Stars, 16th of the Block, 12 MasterChef, 11 My Kitchen Rules, Big Brother's coming back for some stupid fucking reason, and it all stays whiter than Peter Dutton eating a loaf of Tip Top covered in cocaine. Which is not that far from the truth, so some people are saying. But whatever, you know, all those shows can still keep going. It's just online now. Everything else you watch is online. You can watch YouTube on your TV. There's uh, 10 Play, iView, all those catch-up apps. What's the difference? What are they whinging about? Because broadcast TV is still king. Maybe not for much longer, certainly. But right now, it still is. It provides the bulk of revenue to all commercial networks and community TV, and it's where the clear majority of viewers still are. You wanna be a TV network? You gotta be on TV. Look, you probably don't even watch community TV, all right? Whether it stays or it goes, it's probably not gonna affect your life in any real way. So this is the takeaway. Just fast forward what I just said, all right? The digital space left by community TV, if it was taken off the air, can't be filled for at least four or five years, right? So there's no immediate money in it for anybody. It's just gonna be nothing, blank, white noise, like Sky News. <laughs> With this new technology, there'll be more space available. No one needs to miss out, all right? There's plenty to go around. The government is not forcing any other channel to go exclusively online, only community TV, who are arguably the least able to manage that transition. Community TV plays almost nothing but local content, 
Paul Fletcher, the current Minister for Communications and Arts, is on the record saying he wants to change present government regulations to help local content producers. Then he fucking acts as community TV. Look, it costs you nothing, all right? It's not funded by taxes. It produces jobs. It produces skilled workers. It's a genuine trade school. You want to close a school, a free school? What the fuck's wrong with you? It gives weird people confidence. Look at all the talent that's come out of community TV. Rove, Hamish and Andy, half the people on the project. There's been some good ones as well, probably. A shitload of top crew everywhere. Look, community TV makes people want to work hard for free. You know how tough that is? That's fucking awesome. All right, so sign this petition and send Paul Fletcher a message saying, listen here, you dumb cut. No, don't say that. Uh, say, dear Paul Fletcher, uh, you are a truly awful person in that I am full of awe about how you are handling this issue. Please keep community television on the air. And I promise not to burn down. No, don't say that. Uh, just say, dear Paul Fletcher, please keep community television on the air for as long as on the air still means something. Full stop. Done. So go, go do something useful with your life for once, for fuck's sake. Something of worth. Been sitting on your ass for the past three months. Oh, I can't do my work. Fuck off. This is utter bullshit and I am short on joy. So do it now. Save community television. And yeah, yours sincerely. And then you should write your name at the bottom. Ramp over. <laughs>